here's my uh, workspace. Is uh, you might uh, you might have referred to it as my practice. I don't practice. I never did. I just figure if you play all day, you're practicing. I want the place to feel really good. I need inspiration as a writing because that's my Pro Tools rig over there. So when I'm writing, I'm recording on that. I don't use that for my internet or social media, nothing. I do that up in the kitchen so I can look out in the woods and, you know, feel comfortable doing that and have my coffee. And you need the inspiration, you know. Uh, <laughs> one of the main reasons I, I do this for a living and, and, and always have is because of that guy right there that is in that band up there. It's uh, great having, you know, a little memorial of, you know, of DB around, you know, makes me happy thoughts and remembers all the cool stuff that we did together. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, this is my happy little fun room. It's relaxing and it's cool and I can do anything I want down here. I can, you know, make noise late. Um, smoke cigarettes. Dana will probably edit that out. Uh, anyway, uh, here's a remnant from the 2004 tour, and you know, when push comes to shove, I started off, you know, as a blues guy, you know, listening to all the Delta guys, uh, the Muddies and the, you know, the, the Hounds and so on, and Buddy Guy, always been one of my favorites, you know, and uh, I was fortunate enough to become very good friends with him. A few years ago, and uh, damn, you want to talk about having a whole nother learning experience with Buddy Guy. Mm -hmm. 